Okay, so I'm posting another video because I need some help um, to make sure that I'm kind of headed in the right direction. So the key dip was um, set kind of in the middle between the um, the 10 millimeter um, and I think 10.5. So I came up uh, with a key dip across the, the piano at 10.2 millimeters um, and then reset the hammer blow distance to 45 millimeters. So where I'm at now is let off was set inside the piano. Um, you know, the hammer line was set outside the piano, but um, let off was set at two millimeters using this guy here. Uh, so this is two millimeters exactly. So let off was set at two millimeters and then the, um, the action was pulled out and then uh, drop was set to two millimeters as well. So this guy here was set comparing between uh, one hammer which went into let off and one that went up to, or sorry, one that went to say drop. And then I used the one next to it to bring up into where it lets off to measure between the two. Um, and it's really close. I'm not sure if it's perfect, but it, it's this thing is drastically better than where, where it was. So if I work this key here, uh, I bring it up to let off. I'll try to do it as slow as possible. And then there's our drop, which like I said, drop is at two, millim two millimeters. So there is a little bit of aftertouch. I'm not sure if it's enough. So let me zoom in so you guys can see as it um, the jack moves away from the knuckle. But there we have let off. And then our aftertouch is pretty much that. It's not pressed up against the felt near the, the drop screw. Um, and there is a little bit of clearance behind the knuckle. I'm not sure how much we need, um, but looking at the video, the aftertouch is a little closer to the knuckle than it is to the red felt near the drop screw. So that's where I'm at. I think it's pretty, pretty close. Um, it's obviously a lot better than it was. I mean, you know, 200% increase. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and post this and then, uh, see what you guys think. Thank you.